Cleanup is underway tonight in Johnson County with people hard at work clearing debris and toppled trees. Crews working furiously trying to get the power back on. A graveyard of telephone poles sits across Travis Road with its residents unable to leave. There's glass and shingles and all the trees are just blown everywhere. It's a lot worse than like what it is right now. Sam Hendrick took shelter with his parents as the storm rolled through. His front yard now littered with debris, including a mailbox from down the street. Houses on either side of his had their roofs blown off and had to be covered with tarps today. Yeah, I'm lucky that our house didn't like all the houses by us are destroyed and we're just luckily fortunate enough to not have any like, structural damage. His family, like so many, are without power and expect it to be that way for days. The Kensington Grove neighborhood here along Travis Road was right in the path of the storm. Some homes here are untouched while others are unlivable. I walked into my room and I didn't have a ceiling and I, I was just, you know, it was scary. Christian Werner and his family are packing up and staying with family. The roof of their home is gone, now scattered across their backyard. We look outside and it's just debris everywhere and we go up in our house and it's just it's just mangled. Contractors were at his home today to begin the repairs, but when they'll be able to move back is anyone's guess. Just down the street, doors and windows are boarded up, shattered by the storm. We heard a lot of like popping and cracking and one of it I know for sure was a Two by four came crashing through our window, so I heard that. <laughs> Among the devastating damage and despite a long road to recovery, everyone we spoke with was thankful. Thankful not only that they're okay, but their neighbors are okay too. I feel super lucky. Someone was looking out for me up there, you know. In Johnson County, Max Lewis, CBS4 News.